welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing another Q&A video. The first one I did had amazing results. I didn't think that I would get that many views to be honest and I was kind of surprised. So I decided to do another one. I asked you in my last video if Q&A is something you like and a lot of people said yes. So I think I'm gonna start doing them weekly. I'm still trying to decide on what day. I might be changing the days around. Depends on if I have service and if I can film and stuff like that. So let's start. Um, also, it is very, very cold and windy today. So hopefully the audio is doing good. Yesterday it was a beautiful day. It was like 75 degrees. It was perfect temperature, beautiful and sunny and uh, Got very cold overnight and then today is very chilly and the wind is picking up so hopefully the audio is good. Um, I'm not gonna say what location I am for privacy or security reasons so but we are getting close to late to get our high top. We're getting a high top in less than a week and I'm super super excited so anyways let's start with the questions. I have them saved over here. Okay, so the first question comes from Charles Wibley, Wibley, W-Y-B-L-E. Um, did you film one, uh, this one with the iPhone? I couldn't tell for certain from the shadows. And that's from my last video. No, I, wait, did I film it with the iPhone? Oh, no, that's, for, this question is from the tour, the, the VW bus tour. And sorry, I'm sitting on the rock and that's very uncomfortable. Um, no, I didn't film with the iPhone. I filmed it with Jet's camera, which is a Sony A7S. And um, it was very hard to film that video because everybody just kept talking. And so I had a lot of footage, but I had to cut it to make it around 10 minutes. And then <laughs> and I had to play with the color grading a little bit to make it look somewhat okay. So it's not, it's definitely not the best video of mine. It's definitely not the best tour, but I thought it was very uh, cool build. It was very simple and it was done under a month or around a month. So I thought it would be cool to share with you guys to let you know or to show you that you don't have to build this amazing or big thing that takes a lot of time and money you can build it very simply and live out of it and then kind of add a little bit at a time so uh next question comes from md grimms grimes sorry i'm horrible with names uh the question is how much for a koa in las vegas thanks for that one it was 30 dollars a night after taxes I'm not sure if they offer weekly rates or monthly rates because we only stayed for a night or two at a time. But for $30, it's it's not bad. I've definitely stayed at cheaper places, but the, the QA itself is very nice. The showers are amazing. The bathrooms are very good. There's a lot of grassy areas. It's a, it's a very well-kept QA and I really enjoyed staying there. Next question comes from Lamps, Lamps Bread. I am just curious, where in Russia are you from and when, why did you come uh, to the Americas? Um, I am from Moscow. I was born and raised in Moscow, Russia, which is the capital of Russia. So um, I am from a big city and I've always lived in big cities. And the reason why I came here, um, I actually talked about it in one of my earlier videos. I think it's titled how I end up living in the van maybe. Um, I will put a link down in the description for you to watch where I tell a full story. But the short story is my mom passed away when I was younger and after that happened, I realized that life is very short. So I should follow my dreams and passions and traveling was one of them. I've traveled with my family as a kid all my life and I always enjoyed it. So I decided to travel. I was able to get a visa to come to United States and I didn't plan on staying actually. I just came here to visit and I loved it. I loved the landscapes, I loved the people. So I decided to stay. So I started the process of getting my green card and got that and lived on the green card for seven or eight years. And then I got my citizenship. So I've been a United States citizen for a few years now. Um, I don't remember exactly. I need to look at my password <laughs> to see the date. Um, yeah, so that's that. Next question comes from Elisa Lawson. Please, how's fancy hands going? Because income on the road is an important step towards ability to travel. Thank you, by the way. Um, well, okay, anyways. Um, 
Fancy hand is going great. I love it. Um, I love the ability of doing it whenever I want to. So if I don't want to do it for a week, I can. Or if I want to spend a full day doing task after task after task, I can do it as well. You can make as little or as much money as you want on it, which is great. Um, definitely need to do it more to make more money. But right now it's going great. I, and there's a lot of more websites and places where you can get these types of jobs and in my video that's titled how to make money on the road i put a few links in the description of the on the video where you can check out those websites and find seasonal jobs or online jobs to fund your travels on the road um, let's see next question comes from steve's auto and trucks hi evie what happened to the extended roof plan maybe i missed it another video stay safe out there um, we're going to LA right now. Well, this week. We're getting our high top this week in LA. It's scheduled for, I'm not going to tell you the exact date. I'm not going to, um, yeah, for the security reasons. But yeah, we're going to get it right now. We already paid for half of it. They already made it. So they're just waiting for us to get there to install it. And I'm super, super excited. I will be filming um, the installation process if they allow me. And I will do a review on the place on, on a high top as well. So stay tuned for that. Let's see. Next question comes from Tom Williams. Where did you learn to speak English so well? I did take some English classes when I was still in Russia in school. However, you know, I would do it while I was in the classroom but as soon as I would leave I would just kind of forget all about it so when I first came to the United States the only thing I could really say was hello and how are you and that's about it so I learned it here I didn't take any more classes I just learned by listening to people uh, watching TV watching movies listening to the radio and uh, once I got my first job selling ice cream at Pipeworks Market in Seattle, it forced me to learn how to properly speak and communicate with people. So that's how I learned. It took me up to probably six months to fully be able to have both conversations with people and learn. And, uh, you know, with each year, I learned more and more and more. So, yeah, thank you. Let's see. Next question comes from Stephen Lee. Leaf, yeah. Did the showers cost a lot to use? I remember in Maine they were coin operated. It took three dollars to get a good shower as the water pressure was poor. And silly questions, dear. How tall are you? You keep your videos coming, you're cool. Oh, thank you. Um, the showers at the KOA, I don't know. I'm not sure if you can just go in there and pay to use the shower. I'd never asked that question, but to spend the night there and use the full hookups, it's thirty dollars. Uh, some campgrounds are definitely coin operated. You get two coins for a dollar. Some you just pay two dollars to use the shower. And some campgrounds uh, you can possibly take them for free. Like when we stayed at Valley of Fire in Nevada, there, they had showers there. And it's twenty dollars a night. You have to pay ten dollars to get into the state park. And then the first night you stay there, it's ten dollars, and then anything after is twenty. And there is no if you come there at night there is nobody to take your payment so you just have to put in the envelope and i've seen people go in there and um, just take showers so i'm not sure how legal it is so i don't recommend doing that um, i would definitely ask maybe the camp the camp host if there is their one uh, but in regards to qa i'm not sure i would next time i stay at the qa i'll make sure to ask and I will put it in my next Q&A um, or, you know, the following Q&A after I stay at QA again. So, and oh, how tall I am? I am thinking like 5'8 or 5'9, something like that. I am pretty tall. I am taller than the average female in US, that's for sure. And me and Jed are pretty much the same height. I think I might be like half an inch taller than him. Let's see. Uh, next question comes from B American. Beautiful backdrop. I have a question. What is your astrological sign and what is Jed's? I am a Scorpio and Jed is a Virgo. So my birthday is November. I'm not going to say the exact date, but it's somewhere in the middle. So it's already passed. And I actually filmed a video on my birthday that I was going to release, but I never truly finished filming it. So I don't have a lot and I never released it. I don't know why. Maybe I should go back and look at the footage and see if I can uh, have enough to make a full video out of it. Let's see. Uh, Ramos King of Rome 5. 
So where to next? What's long-term plan next few months? Well, right now we're going, we're on our way to LA to get the high tap. After the high tap, we want to see the Joshua Tree National Forest. Maybe stop by San Diego, check that out. We've never been there and we both really want to see it. And after that, we're probably going to head to RTR for a little bit. And, and that's in January. And after that, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> um, next question comes from Alex Rodriguez. Question, do you see yourself ever doing the van life in your native land? Um, I actually thought about it a lot and I made a full video about it that's titled Van Life in US versus Russia. You should definitely check it out. I bring up a lot of good points in comparison to doing van life in both countries. Doing van life in Russia is very hard because the winters are so harsh. And even though there are people who are doing it there, it's very, very, very uncommon. And it's tough. It's definitely tough. The road condition, the roads themselves are not in very good conditions once you get outside of the cities. And winters are very, very harsh unless you go all the way to southern Russia where winters are similar to winters in Seattle or Portland. And even that, it's not fun, you know. Yeah, definitely check that video out. If I remember, I'm going to put the link down in the description for you. Um, Next question comes from Whitney3377XXX. Um, and that one is, I already answered it, but I thought I would add it in here because I thought it was funny. It's, uh, why don't you get a real man? You're not getting much out of life. And the question is, I do have a real ma man. Jed is amazing. He is a real man. He fixes things. He takes care of me. Um, and I'm, I'm getting way more out of life than I ever did. And, and you know way more of light than I could ever ask for. So, but thank you for your concern. And next question, and the last one, I don't have a lot of questions for this one, is from Anita Smith. When are you getting high tap on the van and where? Um, getting it very soon, within a week, and in LA. It's just, it's uh, by Long Beach, I believe. It's called Fiberine. Check them out. They're one of the best in the country for high tap installation and manufacturing. And it's definitely pricey, but you do pay for what you you do pay for what you get. And uh, we decided to spend the money to get the highest quality high top and installation. So, yeah. And once again, I am gonna film as much as I can in regards to installation and the place itself. And I will do a full review on the high top. And so stay tuned for that. It might take me a while to edit it because I think it's gonna be a lot of video footage but i will try to post it as soon as i can after the installation so anyways I th that's it for the questions for this one i know it's a little bit shorter but yeah now i have questions um if you have any more questions please put them down below in the comments of this video and i will do another q a in about a week or so answering those questions as well uh you can ask me anything van life related personal related life related whatever it is i will i will try to answer it and uh yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time